One of the cool things about getting out on lands, making videos, and doing this all year and working on client lands is that you get to see a lot of cool stuff. You know, I basically scout deer for a living, and when we're out um, shooting videos, of course, we're trying to get into little nooks and crannies on the properties and kind of really see what's going on at a time where we're not concerned about spooking deer and there's many months before the deer season starts and we can see a lot of cool features. Scouting whitetail properties for a living is what I do. I've talked about that on the videos and then writing about it, creating video videos and then hunting myself. Get to see a lot of cool things. And one of the things I see consistently around the north half of the country where I worked in in 25 states is that if there are vines in the area that most often vines can be the number one licking branch that I found on any parcel. And what's cool about them is if you're in an area with vines, vines end up being pretty sturdy. And this vine might go away this year or next year, but a lot of times vines end up staying in the same spot for several years and deer will work them up. And if you have a big pile of vines, if they're coming down, you can have vines that'll be there for years and they become perennial licking branches and perennial scrape areas for many, many years at a time. We've even had a lot of the mock scrapes that we've put out last for four or five years at a time before they eventually break. What I really like about the vines and using vines as mock scrapes is we can place a mock scrape right in the middle of a deer trail so that every deer that walks by, including fawns, does, and bucks, rub their preorbital glands on that branch and the amount of scent that they can put on this licking branch is incredible, especially when you can place it right in a trail where they don't even have to go out of the way to it. But honestly, when I travel the country, the most active and perennial scrapes that landowners show me are often under a vine. This is a natural one. We didn't create this. This is an area we don't walk into or doing it today. In fact, I don't even know if I've been in step foot in this specific location. We've been about 30 yards that way, but we're going to go back that way and see what's around so I'm kind of excited to uh, always see what's around the next corner when I'm looking at land but um, we found this natural licking branch and again you know it's opened up right now you can tell it's been opened up during the snows that we've had recently during the secondary rut especially in December now we might have that third rut taking place now in early January and so really consider if you're making a mock scrape you know I like to try to do my best to duplicate what's going on in the whitetail woods when I'm out on client properties. I typically see doe bedding up against food sources. I see bucks bedding behind that. So I try to duplicate that and try to look for that on client properties and set that up. I try to duplicate where deer are already moving within travel corridors. You're not trying to reinvent the wheel. And when it comes to making mock scrapes, you shouldn't try to reinvent the wheel either. So easy to use a vine if you have them in your area. If you don't have vine, what I found that works really well going back into the early 2000s, when I was up in the UP of Michigan, jack pine. Jack pine was one of the best areas that bucks scraped under and rubbed um, up there in the UP of Michigan where there were jack pines. And so hanging a jack pine branch, it's four or five feet long, about three quarter inch in diameter, same as a, a scrape, worked very well. Using oak branches, same thing if you have oaks in your area. So between oaks, jack pines and vines that covers most of the habitat in the whitetail, whitetail woods in the country. And so I suggest if you're looking to make improvements, doesn't matter if it's travel corridor, doesn't matter if it's a bedding area, doesn't matter if it's an alignment of food, does, and bucks, I urge you not to reinvent the wheel, keep things natural. And to me, what I found is that a mock scrape can be really improved and enhanced by using a vine. It's one of the most natural licking branches that I find when I scout deer for a living in the different states that I do. I urge you to try it. We have lots of videos. I have a video playlist you can check out on my channel for that. And, uh, and making mock scrapes are a lot of fun. Stick a camera on it, hide a camera nearby, and they're a great addition to your hunting land coming this season.